is why, and back to your point about school, um, they do give you that room, um, hmm. what's called studio, which is where we spent 90% of our time. If you knew any architects or um, architecture students in school, they were probably spending the vast majority of their time in studio because that's, it's like, you know, you're, I don't know the equivalent, but like your um, think space, it's like a open floor plan. Usually mm. the desks are movable, yeah. everything's movable. So it's like your playground you know, when you're there, you're just or studying math. Apparently architects go through some rigorous yeah. math classes. Yeah, that's true. Um, structures, um, history. Um, yeah, because you also, you also have to know all the materials everything's made mm-hmm. out of, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The building technology, materials classes. Yeah, and uh, part of, to, and I've had conversations with my friends about this, about just like, why do you have so much like useless information? Mm. Because I, somebody would be talking about, I don't know, like we were talking about weather patterns the other day. Mm. We are like talking about uh, climatic zones and all these things. We're like, why do you know anything about Well, because I went to school and we had to learn mm. about, you know, the different... Uh, biomes like yeah. desert biome and because it's when you're designing something shelter even at yeah. the most base form you have to know like what is the weather going to be like mm. not over not the day-to-day weather but like the climate over mm. the course of 30 50 years um, so that kind of information that you think I guess when you're in school might feel unnecessary or superfluous it's like why am I learning this stuff it has mm. nothing to do with what I want to be actually doing um, but then you know you get on in years, you start to realize, okay, that's where that comes in. Like, that's actually important now. Yeah. 